two big breaking headlines out of Japan, including the race to rescue survivors after a powerful earthquake on Japan's coast. And overnight, there was a fiery plane collision on a runway in Tokyo. 400 people on board. Matt Gutman is on the scene at the airport. Good morning, Matt. Good morning. A terrifying scene here just a couple of hours ago as Japan Airlines Flight 516 came in for landing and crashed right into a Japanese Coast Guard plane. Japanese authorities now say they're investigating the entire airport here. Haneda is shut down during a very busy holiday weekend. You can see the many, many hundreds of people waiting behind me. But it really was that scene as that flight an Airbus A350, which is a large plane, collided with that Japanese Coast Guard plane and burst into that fireball. Then you see that A350 sort of nosedive and skid on its belly for uh, many hundreds of yards until it finally came to a rest, fire engulfing its belly all around. Firefighters trying to put out the flames and those 379 passengers on board and crew managing to escape, Japanese authorities say, all of them are alive and well. Uh, there is some question, however, about the Japanese Coast Guard members who were on that flight. Now, we do understand from Japanese authorities that five of the six crew members aboard that Coast Guard plane were killed. We have learned that flight was actually headed to Western Japan to deliver earthquake relief um, to the people who've been hit in that earthquake, that 7.6 quake there that rattled the region, cut off uh, many thousands of people, according to the prime minister. They're still trying to get to aid to them. Um, tens of thousands of people, in addition to those cut off, remain without electricity. This morning, a desperate search for survivors after that deadly earthquake in Japan. That magnitude 7.6 quake flattening buildings, severing power lines, and killing dozens. <laughs> it forced tens of thousands in coastal areas to evacuate. This video capturing the chaos at this train station, the violent rattling lasting for seconds. Hundreds of other passengers traveling on high-speed bullet trains stranded for several hours. Major roadways buckling, making them impassable. This video taken inside a convenience store in Nagano showing items on shelves shaking violently. Cell phone video taken from inside this store showing the panic and chaos as customers run for safety. The powerful tremors rocking this home near the epicenter. A baby crying out. And there have been dozens of aftershocks in a country accustomed to seismic activity. Japan has about three times as many earthquakes as California because it's sitting at a very complicated part of the plate tectonic puzzle where four plates come together. Now, at first, there had been a major tsunami warning. There were concerns of 16-foot waves, but that was downgraded. There was also major concern for Japan's nuclear power plants. The government here is saying all of its nuclear power plants are safe and under control. Michael. There's some good news there, Matt. Thank you.